it's not normal. This came directly from the minds of JW speaker engineers. That is the fact. Motorcycle, it's very interesting vehicle. It's a half illumination of the car. Right now, motorcycles, they have an immense blind spot when you're leaning into a corner. And the low beam pattern will tilt as you're turning, um, basically putting the, uh, the foreground into darkness. Think of a raccoon, the damage that could do, or a deer. As you're going around a corner, all of a sudden, there's something there that you need to be able to see, but you can't without our light. Something what you don't see, you're going to hit for sure. On a motorcycle, you can't have enough light. First time I heard adaptive and headlight in the same sentence, I was immediately curious. I was like, how are we ever going to do this? We had that idea a long time ago. The problem was technology. The term adaptive light um, is particularly useful in this case because the light really adapts to how you would need it. Now technology finally enables you to see that better and feel much more comfortable when you, when you ride. We use uh, sensors inside to detect how the motorcycle is moving. And it kind of projects where you're gonna be and where you're gonna need the light. And then it turns on different elements. That's our technology, that's know-how from our side. The second you start to lean a little bit, um, go around a curve or hit something really sharp, um, the area that would normally be black by the flood pattern um, is illuminated. It's not just simple switching on and off. If you are doing that, you will perceive as destructive. I think the highest compliment we received was you didn't notice it was there, but then once you took it away, man, you missed it. This lamp is a very special lamp. It's the first of its kind that actually makes your ride safer, more enjoyable, um, it's fun to use, it's beautiful. It has the, the widespread of our standard speaker lamps. It has the uh, hot spot and the punch for down the road with the high beam. Um, and then on top of that, we've added the vehicle dynamics where it's, it's responding to the cornering on the motorcycle. People are going to be clamoring to get their hands on these lamps. Nothing like this has ever been brought to market. We want to be industry leader, we want to be the first, and we want to increase the safety. There isn't a competitive product. And there, there's nothing even close. Everybody's going to be showing them off to their friends. Look at this amazing light I have. Once you ride it, it's hard to go back. Other lamps just point their light down the road. Our lamp, we can actually direct exactly where the rider needs it. Once people see them in use and, and drive behind them, they sell themselves. So it's kind of a big deal. <laughs> To get the adaptive lighting from an OE means replacing the vehicle. In this case, you can actually bring the, the existing vehicle to current technology with just the replacement of the headlight. There's nothing else out there that looks like this. Um, people are saying, I want this. There's the guys that are looking for the technology, looking for, have had a bad experience, maybe had a close call in an accident, and really understand the importance of lighting on a motorcycle. If you can get those guys to convert, um, they'll bring everybody else with them. It's a completely innovative and new. The potential is huge. Everybody's going to want one, because this is a game changer. Nobody else has this. It's, it's huge. It's going to blow everybody's minds.